The phonograph was the state-of-the-art audio sampler in 1930 and Bartok decided to take it to the Algerian desert to record some local folk music there. Bartok's own life is like one of those folk tales of a solitary wanderer in search of an idea. For me, it was totally fascinating to realize how progressive and super cool this must have been at the time. And it triggered the idea of trying to emulate how Barto could have worked if he'd had access to today's technology. I read through his correspondence he made while organizing this trip and it showed me how complicated it was and how much determination it took for him to make it happen. Anyone who's seen an Indiana Jones movie or something similar should have an idea of what I mean. Unlike Bartok's other field recordings, many of which he recognizably integrated into his own compositions, the North African recordings remained virtually unexplored by him as a composer. There are only 10 pieces in his entire works which show the influence of this trip to some extent. And uh, this fact resulted in one of the most exciting parts of the whole project because uh, beside making my own electronic jazz fusion arrangements I had to compose some piano pieces in Bartok's style as if he had written them based on his own original field recordings. section was the same as uh, on the time capsule blu-ray it was the first time we worked together with these three new soloists who were just uh, mind-blowingly amazing and Ben Neal who played uh, the mutant trumpet that he invented and violinist Lutza Kesdi also contributed to the material with three tunes. In my previous material, I focused on exploring and showcasing the unique interactive drum system I developed. The same system was used in here too, but in a much more seamless way. Uh, so the interactive use of the computer is not so apparent this time. We wanted to demonstrate that Bartok's legacy doesn't just belong to fans of classical music and some dusty archives, but it has a timeless message to a much broader audience. <laughs> 